Can y'all see me good? Yes or no? My hair's looking a little flat today. Please excuse. Hello! Welcome! Welcome to my room. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my safe space. As you can see from the title, your girl keeps on a little bit of an adventure today and I don't want to keep you too long from watching the rest of the video but I do want to give a small reminder that today like today me today it's the 12th of September it's a Tuesday and the rest of the video it's back in April baby it's back in April and that was like January February March April April May June July August September six months ago how does it go that fast yeah so anyways just this is me future me and that's time travel me so i'm not gonna hear you much longer i'll see y'all at the end because i got a lot to say so stick around okay peace i'm not in frame just yet because y'all have to promise me that you're not gonna judge me okay <coughs> girl i have been laying there for the past like five days literally just in my bed so please brace yourself only nice comments are allowed on my page. It's not as bad as it looks, honestly. But look at this pony. Look at what in the rat's nest is this? Is she slaying or is she slaying? As you can see from the title, I have very exciting news. It's currently April 24th. It's a Monday. Tomorrow, I'm going to be sitting in front of a jury and singing little songs. It feels a little weird because I just tried to sing and oh my gosh, I mean, you can even hear it, I think. But yeah, that's tomorrow and today I thought we could start by prepping a little bit. I want to do my nails, like just paint them because I cannot handle acrylics or gel or whatever. And I also want to take a shower, emphasis on the shower and scrubbing my body part. I would also like to bleach my eyebrows because I love looking like a little alien. Sorry, we're getting very close and personal, but as you can see, and even like my eyebrows have grown out a bunch when I've been sick, so I haven't like tweezed them or anything. Number one thing to do right now is take a shower, and then I'll be back, and we can do my eyebrows together, and I can talk a little bit more about it. Okay, I'm gonna take a shower now. Don't I look so much fresher? Right, you would kiss me now, right? I actually don't. I'm really congested and gross. I'm actually thinking about taking some nose spray. Oh, the problem with nose spray is that I'm so scared that I'm gonna like get addicted to it. Don't look. Ooh, and then it like is spicy in the nose. So I did just get out of the shower, but my face is feeling very dry. Why don't we put on this little mask that I have from Woods, but not around my eyebrows since we're gonna be bleaching my eyebrows and a little bit on my cheekies. Now for my hair, since it's my hair is also dry. Everything about me is dry. I'm gonna put on this K18 hair mask. You're supposed to rinse it off after you've used it, but I just put it in my hair like it's a leave-in conditioner. This is what happens when you don't brush your hair for a few days. I'm also gonna put a little bit of this in my hair. It is also a leave-in conditioner. I'm just gonna put this one in my ends. My mommy is gonna be making me some tea because, oh my gosh. I put this in my hair too, and I mean, I always put this in my hair no matter what. It's supposed to smoothen your curls, but it does not. Yeah? Thanks, Mama. Love you. Love you. Anything of it always smells so good. So before we go in with the bleach, I'm gonna take care of the mess of eyebrows I have. Because they're very outgrown. You can see the mask. Oh, it's gonna be so nice. This is what I'm going to use to bleach with today. Garnier's Color Sensation Super Lightning Color Cream. But you're supposed to be able to reseal it, which is really good for me because I want to be able to use it a few times. I'm really tempted to like do my roots, but I should not. Okay, so as said before, your girly is going to be going on a little... A TV show. There's really no guarantee that I'm going to be with. I mean, even if I had my voice fully like how I've had it, it feels very weird that it's tomorrow just since I've been so sick. So I haven't like had time to mentally prepare myself that it's actually happening. I think situations like this are good for when you want to practice your gratitude and practice your patience. 
because there's just no way that I can control what the casting directors are wanting for the show. I mean, I'm just a little entity that's going there and, and whatever, but they could already have preconceived notions that I'm not going to be with, you know? When I was little, I kind of just thought that the first impression was the audition in front of the jury, but actually there's a few auditions before the actual one. The first one is where you send in a video, or I sent in a three actually. I sent in one where I was playing the piano, one when I was playing the guitar, and one when I was singing with somebody accompanying me. And I also had to write like a little bit of a resume of sorts of what I've done in music before and who I am and what I want to be and why I do music and also talking about family relationships and who do you live with and who would be coming with you to the audition is also one of the questions. I mean just from a TV standpoint you can't really have people that aren't interesting. Not that I'm saying that I am interesting because there is a lot of people who are more interesting than I am but so I think that's why they ask you so many questions. But yeah, so I sent that and then I got an email saying that I was going through to the second audition, which is an audition that is done over Zoom practically. So I actually went over to my friend Pedla's house and did the audition there. I asked him to play the guitar for me. Me singing and playing the guitar at the same time doesn't always feel like it does it justice. My singing voice, I mean. So it was really nice to have him there. They even asked him like why he thinks that I should be with on Idol and I was like oh no <laughs> like he doesn't he's not gonna know what to say and oh no they put him on the spot but he actually answered very sincerely and kindly and it was such a nice moment actually to be validated that way with from somebody that I've been working extremely close with for the past few months musically but anywho what do y'all think? That audition over Zoom was literally like, I don't even want to say 15 minutes because it went so fast. Like they asked me a few questions and like literally a few, like maybe one, two, three. And then after that, they were like, okay, sing now. And I was like, okay. So then I sang and then they were like, thank you very much. And I was like, uh, bye. <laughs> and then, <laughs> I'm sorry. And then they just like quit it. And I was like, so that just happened very fast. This eyebrow hurts always so much more than this one. I don't know what the issue is. This is my mom's cup. Don't know if you can tell. It's probably one of the best cups that we have. It has a perfect handle. And then this little ledge that we got going on right here. I don't know if you can see. Do you see that a little swoop? Perfect for your underlip. I'm bringing my mom, my dad, my sister, and Pelle. But we are supposed to be there at 10.30. You know that one episode of The Office when Andy's trying to be with on America's Got Acapella or something? No, oh, no, America's Next Acapella Sensation. I'm so scared. <laughs> I think I just like drama and so I'm saying I'm scared, but I'm not actually scared, but I just feel like it's such a moment to be standing in that line. Why do I have eyebrows literally growing up there? There's been this song on my free page that has been really popping off, but she hasn't released it. Literally, huh? Why did I eat that up? Why did I eat that up? Okay, it's starting to tingle and I don't know if you can see, but my hair is looking pretty white. I would say it's safe to say that we can take it off now. This is a very effective bleach. Are you joking me? Okay, I just did my hair. I think, let's decide what nail color I'm gonna choose. Okay, cause listen, this is, wait, let me grab the top that I'm gonna wear. So I'm gonna wear these pants, gray regular jeans, and then I'm gonna be wearing this top. I kind of regret it because when you were doing the video interview, you sort of had to wear what you were gonna be wearing on the day of. And I chose this top, but the thing is, it's kind of loud. Even my mom said so, but I didn't listen to her when she was giving me tips, but I should have probably. This is the top at least, it's very pretty. Has a nice little floral on it. Go nicely with the jeans. I'm gonna be wearing 
a green belt as well. This is the green belt. It's gonna go nicely with the flower that's on the front. Taking that, I'm gonna be wearing these because they're nice and pointy, little trendy moment. But anyways, so for nail colors, we have a few different options. We have this really light pink, don't really think it's the choice though just because i feel like it will make my hands look a little sick then we have this color which is a iridescent pink moment actually that might be nice because otherwise i'm thinking about this red color and it's my go-to but maybe this will be just enough yeah i think we'll do that okay i just painted them finished this is what they look like very pretty Aren't they cute? Okay, I think I'm gonna rest a little bit and try and get over this flippin' bug before tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Ah, wish me luck. Love you. Today's the day. Okay, it's 8.04 and Pella and I said that we were gonna meet up at nine something. So, ah, uh, I'm just really sleepy, I think. If I'm being honest, I'm not the most excited. I think it has to do with my sleepiness, but I'm gonna do my makeup quick. Okay, I've now done my makeup. I think it looks pretty good, TBH. If I do say so myself. I just went with basically what I do every single day. I think it looks good, right? I just gotta take away the mascara on my eyelids. You can't really see me. So I'm just gonna tell y'all what I think I'm gonna wear. These pants, these pants, this belt. But I'm nervous that it's not gonna look good. I'll put it on and then let's decide together. I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to feel sick. <laughs> like the way I've been feeling sick the last whatever week and my energy's kind of draining. I think I need to eat something, but I did pick out my outfit. I think, sorry for my background, but I think this is the Luwak. And I have my big hoops on, which always make me feel cuter and some big jewelry. I also have this necklace that I literally never wear, but I was feeling kind of bare. But yeah. And then I was gonna wear my heels. I know for a fact I'm gonna regret it later, like a hundred percent, because they're very uncomfortable, but they're very cute at the same time. Ah! Okay. Okay. I'm going now, Sophia's filming. Looks so cute. My mom's gonna drive me. Ah! Hey. <laughs> hey. Okay, me and Pella are here now. We're on our way. And they said that we're supposed to go up towards something called space. But I, I've never been there before. So. Me and Pella are just waiting right now. And honestly. No. Sounds like somebody's gone through. Supposedly people like. They clap even if you don't go through, and you're supposed to walk through a door, and it seems kind of scary. I don't want to be like, yes or no. Although I guess people are here just to cheer you on, but it's also a really weird vibe because obviously everyone's like trying to like scope out the competition. I'm number six five nine nine. I'll update you guys later. We're done. I'm not just kidding. <laughs> we're sort of gonna get something to eat before I, oh dang it, I have to call my mom. But we're gonna just get something to eat before the audition. We're allowed to leave for like 30 minutes. Anyways, I think I wanna get Mac. What are you, Sir Genpoa? What's up? Max. Yeah. We went to Mac and I got this burger. That's like a child's burger. But it only costed me 55 kroner for this whole thing and for my drink. Also, I didn't film it, but I did get a sweet potato fry, which was a little treat. In with my vajetra, pomes. Uh, fries. Fries. Nobody here knows that I'm gonna be on TV. Pretty silly. Here we have my family. We have Sophia. Hello, say hello. My sister, it's almost <laughs> <laughs> No, we don't know if he's your friend yet, but... Yeah, he's <laughs> 
literally i mean i'm number number 99 and i think number like i don't know what number just went i don't remember i think it was like 92 or something I have my mom my dad is on his way so that'll be soon what are you feeling mm -hmm. i'm feeling like so excited for you i think i think it's gonna go great you know? you've been sick but i don't think that's gonna happen. yeah that's true <laughs> they were filming and they had like this huge <laughs> mic in front of me and Pella when we were talking and it was supposed to be natural like how is it supposed to be natural oh hey mom my mom <laughs> and they made you do a tiktok dance oh yeah and they made me do a tiktok dance can y'all believe it i don't want anyone to see that they were telling me they're like well because you are a tiktoker then you can do a tiktok dance and i'm like do y'all not understand they told me to do a dance and i was like no thank you and then i pulled up pella and i was like pella can you do the dance too and pella was like no and then all of a sudden she was like i'm gonna go ask some other people maybe they want to do the dance and i was like okay yes, thank you i know who runs up next to me she does currently 3 12. when i was sort of asking about an estimate of time of when we were going to be done he said around five ish which is in like two hours so it probably might turn soon pella got roped into something <laughs> Me and Pella are here. Okay, it's about to be my turn. A little bit nervous. I'm really trying hard to stay on the right note. I'm scared I'm gonna go on the wrong note, but time will tell, I guess. Also, my cold is getting a little worse. I think it's the nervousness. So I'm sitting here waiting. I'm supposed to go in there and have some kind of interview, but I didn't go through. I got four no's. Four no's. And that's fine. Honestly, I'll talk more about it later. But I did definitely want to cry in the moment. Hi, I'm in my bed now. We drove home pretty much after. There was a little bit of other filming. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sad. Um, they told me that basically they couldn't figure out if I was cool or if I was just trying to be cool. They thought that I was trying to copy and be somebody else that has, during a previous year, done the same song. I'm sorry, I don't mean to cry it's so dumb. It's just that during a lot of my life, Oh, this is a sob story, like, over it. But during a lot of my life, I have actually tried to be somebody else. And tried to act like other people around me. And make sure that I constantly fit in. And the second I step out of that mold, I'm not good enough. Especially with my singing. I have hated the way that I sing. Just went into the lines then. Maybe it wasn't the best thing to do in hindsight since I'm still a little shaky with everything. It was pretty devastating hearing that and they settled for that I was trying to be somebody else. Damn I look so sad. Uh, I'm really not that sad. I'm very grateful for this whole opportunity. Um, I did do it, so I mean that's still an experience and I was talking to the interview people in the end and I think I am very comfortable in saying that I'm grateful for the experience and that it's an experience worth experiencing. Seeing behind the TV or like what happens behind the scenes is very interesting actually. I had no idea there was so much thinking and a lot of people like a lot of people work for that set <sighs> yeah because i just wasn't deemed good enough for what they wanted for this season and um that's okay <laughs> grateful for the detail but the bigger picture is ahead i'll probably talk more about it later i'm just still a little bit raw um yeah love you guys Ah, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> that was kind of dumb. <laughs> Sorry. Welcome back. It's now September. Right? It was kind of sad watching me cry like that. You have to admit, it was a little bit like, oh, oh, puny the little girl. I just find it so thrilling to watch back at all this footage six months later. It's kind of like a time capsule for me because 
that was such a moment in my like history of me i mean whatever i'm probably gonna have more moments that was something that seriously shaped me let's talk about it okay so first and foremost i watched my audition last night let me tell you a secret they took out a bunch of mean things that they said to me i was literally watching and i was like okay so you're not gonna mention that i'm sick i was on antibiotics as you heard from the video i was not doing too well and that's fine like singers they sing sick all the time but it was just so weird because they did ask me to talk a lot about being sick because i did multiple interviews and i even had a small moment where me and pelle i mean i talk about it in the video where me and pelle were sitting on the couch and the big mic came and they were like talk about you being sick and talk about how you are nervous about it and i was like okay and um so we did and they filmed it and i even in a moment in my actual audition in front of the juries, I told the jury that I was on antibiotics because right after Andesh, like Baguette, right after Baguette said that I had a weird twist to my voice, I said, or not twist, it was um, the tone you couldn't hear much after when I was singing and he was like, what's going on there? I said, I'm on antibiotics. And he was like, oh, okay, okay and thought about it a little bit. Not that I think actually it's like, it's like such a boring excuse to be like, I'm sick, I was sick, but I was seriously sick. But um, some other things that they didn't include in the audition was when Shishti, you know, the woman with orange hair, no shade, actually no shade. I have pink hair, I can't even fight her anymore. When Shishti, in the middle of us like talking and conversing me back and forth with the jury, she looks at me and she goes, has anyone ever told you that your legs are two different sizes? Huh? <laughs> huh? I wish they would have freaking shown this on camera. Pella can attest to that this freaking happened. But so, so I'm standing there and I'm like, what? <laughs> okay, no. And this woman, she's sitting like this, okay? And she's she. Oh no, no, I'm saying like today that the two like a length of the dinner me huh she physically gets up this woman gets up gets up cosplay you are me she walks right on over bends down looks at my legs and goes yeah two centimeters difference sits down again huh and then she goes on to tell me how there is something in the balance of my body and how when I have two centimeters difference in my legs, it can affect the way that I get out my tone. There might be some truth in that. Thank you, Kishti. But also, I have never had problems with getting out my tone. If you think so, like, cool, agree to disagree. But it was just such a shocking thing to have said, and I was standing in my, this heel, and I was like, oh. And you can even see from one clip to another, I was standing with my legs crossed. And then when she came up to me, I stood, you know, like this, cause the woman was gonna assess me and my length in my legs. From one clip to the next, I'm standing crossed and then suddenly I'm, you know, tall, trying to not appear like I have two centimeters difference in my legs. Like that was the most BS thing ever. And then it's just so funny because the fact that they like didn't include it in the actual show is just showing how it's fig yeah it just shows how like wimpy it was of a response or wimpy it was of a thing to find that was wrong about me because they did nail me very hard for like the silly goofy twists i had going on in my voice i, I need to cut myself slack for that because last night i was really like I'm so dumb, like why did I, why, why didn't I just relax? Because that's what happened to my voice. It happened that I got shaky, I got scared. I also haven't sung much in the last year due to my depression and due to a lot of heartbreak. And so suddenly standing in front of the lion's den, like I said in one of my previous recordings in my bed, I think, I was so nervous. And I really wanted it, like, like I didn't say it to anyone really, but I, I really wanted 
this or I wanted to get my life going. I wanted something to just go and I wanted to have something to lean back on for my fall because now we're approaching fall, right? Also, I found it so funny. My audition was so dramatic. Like suddenly this music starts playing and it's like the most dramatic music ever. Me and Pella were watching at the same time. Like I FaceTimed him and watched it at the same time with him since he's up at school or whatever. It was just like, na, 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 na. and I was like, wait a minute. Why are we turning this into a sob story? Like, why are we doing it right now? Like, I just felt like it was just so silly. And like, I was just like, this has to be a joke. They must have been laughing their heinies off. Like, their butts were on the floor when they were editing this. Like, I know for a fact. I know for a fact. But yeah, I, whatever. It's like, also a reason why I didn't bring up the whole like two centimeters difference thing when I was laying in bed sobbing was because it was actually quite traumatizing having that woman stand up and assess my legs. Like looking back, I'm like, why did I do that to myself? I was seriously not in a healthy, healthy mindset. Like I'm just now starting to adapt to a healthy kind of thinking. Like. I didn't pick up my guitar for like two weeks after the audition. I didn't sing for like two weeks after that audition. But here we are. And I am very happy that I did the audition. Probably won't do it again. I am very proud of myself and watching back to when I'm laying there crying and sobbing and like, it's so, you know. I did say something really smart and I said that this is just a detail of my story. I mean, that's the truth, right? I I have so much ahead of me. I mean, I am depressed, right? And I do experience some of those sadder thoughts and it just sucks, right? Like future sucks. It's gonna be my caption on my Instagram post, but like comparison is something that I think could kill me. And I almost wanna selfishly say that I am the only person on the entire planet that experienced comparison the way that I experienced comparison, even though I know that's not true. But comparison has seriously been the way I have existed for so long. I have diary entries from when I was seven saying that I wish I was this other girl in my class because I just wanted to be her. I wanted to have her life. I also experienced in high school uh, total like, this person is holy, I want to be them. She went in my class. But the thing is that I'm starting to realize that comparison isn't going to get me anywhere. It's not going to get me anywhere. Yes, if it motivates me, perfect. But I should always applaud my friends and I should always applaud my friends for their successes. Jealousy, not cute, not cute. My time will come. Also, I saw this TikTok where there was like this vine that was going from one spike to a different spike and it was growing and the person was using it as an analogy right and she was talking about how the the leaf was trying to reach the other spike and sometimes we are that leaf you and me we are that leaf and we're trying to reach the next thing the next goal the next thing that will make us feel like we are worthy maybe even we forget about the little ticks that we actually have made our way through. See, I wouldn't be here if I had done nothing, you know? I wouldn't be here if I hadn't started taking some steps. And as of right now, I'm very comfortable in just doing the next right thing. The next subjectively right thing for me. And at that time, and at that time it was to go on idol and I cannot tell her, I cannot tell Emma six months ago that that was a bad choice because that was the right choice then. We do better when we know better. And so I just am so proud that I even tried and that I even took that first step and I can count it as my first step towards trying to figure out who the frick I am. Like I'm so tired of being someone else or fitting into other people's way of living. If you're a morning person, I should not be surrounding myself with night owls. Like, it's just that way, right? Yeah, dude, I don't even know what to say because I just really feel like, yeah, boo.
I got rejected. But it's also like, a I got rejected, let me show them. I remember talking to Pella about this time and time again, and he was like, am I use, use your failures as your mode? Like, do it. Just like, prove them wrong. And it was so hard for me because I didn't feel it inside. Like, I wanna prove them wrong. It's like, why can't I just be accepted who I am? But we live in a material world, baby. Like, there's always gonna be comparison. There's always gonna be rejection. It's what you do with your rejection. It's what you do with your reaction that actually shapes you. I understand the narrative that they were trying to push that like I tried, have tried to be someone else my whole life and like la 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 and then they put me in the studio and then they're like you sing like you're trying to be somebody else. I understand that whole narrative but there's nothing wrong with trying different things and I think there's nothing wrong with exploring what your voice can do, what it should not do. In this day and age, there's such a perimeter around expression. I think that you have to already have figured out who you are, what you want to be, before you even step on stage. Rejection is only making me better and stronger. And I am actually so thankful and so happy about this detail. As said before, detail! I don't know if this helps anyone, but your life has not ended. You should not end it too soon. You have so much left. Make one good choice at a time, one subjectively good choice at a time, and everything will work out. And that can start with being, hugging a loved one, brushing your teeth. It's not that serious. Okay, that's all for me, and I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comment down below, and I will answer every single one of them, I promise. Love y'all so much. Kiss. Ew, I like crusties. Oh, please don't judge me. Y'all have been sick too. I know y'all have been sick.